there hoping to be no explosions or anything, but with these things, there's no telling. So they basically want as many people as far away from it as we can get them. See that guy at the window there, Cal? Oh, he saw us. He's pulling out. He's pulling out. I think we should stop talking to this guy. He just gave him something. We need to go grab him. How you doing? It's broke, please. Yeah, so? I ain't doing nothing. Put your hands on the car. No. Don't Good. fight. Don't I'm fight. Not Put your hands on the car. Relax. No. Relax. I We're the police. Doing nothing. Put your hands on the I car. I don't care. I ain't doing nothing. Relax. We're not harassing, We're not harassing yeah. you. Just yes, relax you and harassing. cooperate with us. Get out of my pocket, man. Hey, go ahead. Keep it up. Stay down. Stay down. Hey, you know what? You're... What? Stay down. Man. What? What? I said I wasn't going up. Okay. I wasn't going up. Go ahead. Right pocket. I wasn't going up. There's a needle? I ain't got nothing in my right pocket. My medicine. What? That's my medicine, man. Keep your hands on the car. Hey. Keep your hands on the my car. My hands are on the car. Relax. Where do you I want to tell you something. Where do you live? I live right down the street. Where's this is crack street? pipes. Right down there. What did you do? You got a couple crack pipes. I don't have no crack pipes. Man. Oh, no? No. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. What? Because you're under arrest for the crack what? pipes. I don't have no crack pipes. OK. You don't. It's got some. No. What do you mean, no? I didn't go down no. again. I said no. But you did. No. <laughs> you did, huh? Put your hands behind your Get back. Off of me. Put your hands Get behind off your of back. My mouth been being OK. Go ahead. That's good. Put your other hand behind your back. No. Bring your other hand back. <laughs> Let my arm go. Bring it back, and I won't pull it. I'm comfy. Bring it back. Is that it? There you go. Get up. Don't move. I won't. Lean on the car. I won't. Lean on the car. Just lean. I'm Do me a favor. Right lean. Here. I'm standing just like this. I'm minding my own business. Lean down. No. No! Just relax. Stop trying to take that cuff off. Stop it. All right? Come on. Put your shoe on. I think what you guys did was wrong. Anthony, we Stop only did what nothing. we did because you acted you the way you did. acted. No, I didn't act nothing. You acted the way you acted. I didn't act nothing. And we reacted to the way you acted. No, would right? you? If, if guys pull up in a car and jump out on no, you? No, if the police... I don't know if you're cops or not. We said it pretty loud. We said, hey, come here, police. Let's talk to you for a minute. And you said, yeah, I so what? I said you because I don't know you. Your response was, yeah, so what? My, I was going home. When we said, hey, come here, police, we want to talk to you, home. your response was, yeah, so what? I was going home. I was minding my own business, doing nothing wrong. I was walking down the street, minding my own business. Minding your own business? That's right. You, you, On you, my street. You were just at the I side window of that black truck, that, that big uh, black truck. Is it a guy? People, I, I was at a police car's window the other night when they were just okay. shooting. Okay, all right, well. It was funny that, that when we, we come up the street, you guys you guys separated from each other real fast. He dropped me off. You were standing at the window. No, he dropped me off. All right, so you weren't getting crack off of that guy. I wasn't doing nothing. OK. What's going on? This guy got out of a car. Um, he had a, had a crack pipe in his hand when he saw us. He tried to put it in his pocket. Um, there was a black male in a big SUV. He was up at the uh, passenger side window when they saw us coming up. They separated. The car went. We stopped him. He had he had something in his hand. We saw the pipes. He put them down in his pocket. And uh, when we grabbed him, asked him to talk to him, he said, "Yes." Yeah, so what? You know, mm -hmm. swearing at us. Tried to walk away. We tried to grab him. He just started flaking out. Wouldn't let us put his arms behind his back or anything. Calvin saw him put it in his right pocket. Calvin said, "You know, he has them in his right pocket. 
get them out of his pocket. So Anthony, you don't have any crack on you today? Anthony. <laughs> this is what was in the brim of his hat right here with that white okay. residue. Okay, all right. It was stuck right You didn't have any crack hat. on you today, Anthony? Okay. What's in your hat? Anthony, we found a piece of crack in your hat. Okay, so you're gonna get some uh, possession charges on you too now. Anthony, you still don't want help? Yeah, I want help. That's what I'm trying to get you, help. Yeah. All right? Come on, Anthony, step up in there. You don't need this, Anthony, correct? You just ruined my whole life, you know? We didn't ruin your life, Anthony, you did. All right, Anthony. We didn't put the cracker to crack pipes in your hand, Anthony. We'll see you at the hearing. Responding to the uh, address here on the report of a guy that's wanted. He's been running from the cops quite frequently. Last month or so, he's been looting the cops and burglarizing. And the car is here. Three twenty-five to Booth. Can you step it up a little bit? And another unit. Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Go ahead and step it up. We've been burning. They're running out here. So, a couple of units to the east, maybe on a perimeter. He's getting on the roof, Rob. Get out, Steve. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. He's on the roof. Stay back there, Rob. Seafest, come on down. Let me see your hands. Your side, Rob, your side. Oh, he's hiding up on the roof. Next unit in, come in and light up the front of the house on the roof. He's on the roof. Can you see him, Rob? Okay. Come on down, Seafest. Come on down. Canine's coming. Just get a perimeter on the house. Let's head out. Get the dog up there. Yeah. Oh, he went back in. He's in there. Let's just get Okay. Okay. 25, have the canine come to the back of the house. Alec, get on the other corner. No. Yeah, we've got it locked down. He's, uh, he's got some felony warrants for his arrest right now. What's his name? Cephas. For uh, the weapon violations? He's got m yeah. warrants and hey, a looting. Yeah. Hang on. I can stay up here, or do you want me to go in? No, I want you to come down. He's, he's, he's in the top floor. I want, I want three, to. Two ways out. He's already come out on the roof twice. He's hung down on that top one and come in. OK, Jamie and Brad and Aaron, you're going with me. OK. OK. You betcha. Or where did you see him last, Robbie? He was in this room, and this window just opened up. He's just upstairs. OK, please, can I do it? Come on now, release the dog. That's a boy, baby. Where's he at? Quiet. Can you? Where's he at? Where's he at, baby? What you got? I think we got him in a crawl space Thank here. You. Dog's alerting to it. So, here we go. Come here, fuss that guy. Go get him, go get him. Fuss that guy, Benny. That's a boy, fuss that guy. Here we go, watch your back. Okay. Fuss that guy, that's a boy, Benny. Fuss that guy. Fuss that guy, Benny. Let me see your hands, that guy. Let me see your hands. No, he's going to crawl guy, out. Benny. Crawl out. Come to me. Hey, the dog is staying on until you show me your hands. Just tell me if I need to get out of the He's going to stay on. I know he's going to stay on. I want to get you up, man. Let me see your hands. Start throwing some stuff back up here, Jamie. Let me see your hands. Let's make some room when he comes out. Let me see your hands. You guys make a hole back way up. Bring him to us. We're fine. Start coming. Hands. Now. Both hands. Let's go! Crawl out! Both hands! Now! Let me get by here. Let me get him. Crawl out! Crawl out! Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Just come out. Right now. Stop. Right there. Don't move. Everybody back up. Keep going back. Thank you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Keep coming. Right here. Facing the ground. Facing the ground. Crawl. Back. Crawl. All right. On the ground. On the ground. Hands are in the back. Here, I'll get it. Yeah, it's going. 
Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, 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 Put it out, one in custody. Unrestrict. Uh, you can restrict. Uh, can you breathe? You all right? Uh, yes. You ready to stand up, Cephas? Yep. Okay, bring your knees up. Oh. Hey, Cephas, I'm Officer Edwards, okay? I've been looking for you for a while. <coughs> you obviously got a bunch of warrants, okay? Car's stolen. You're going to be charged with that tonight. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. We'll bring you up to the hospital to look after you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on back here, guys. Obviously, the information we've been getting on him has been pretty accurate. Stolen a silver LeSabre. Several people over the last couple days have been telling me he's been driving Four, this two, vehicle. Yeah, there are no plates on it, is there? He's pretty much trashed this car because I'm pretty sure it was uh, in relatively good shape. Look at it there. He's also been dealing in stolen property and has access to guns. Yeah, it'd have hurt me when I made that first announcement. Well, what, what are you going to do if trying to put you in okay. jail for... But, I understand that, but you heard me make the announcement, right? And he just chose to, chose to hide. Why did you make an announcement? I don't know what announcement. What are you talking about? That I was going to release the dog. That you were going to release the dog? I was right dog? underneath you. Okay, so if I'm sitting there and I got no weapons on me and I said, mm -hmm. okay, I give, and then you still have the dog Did you hear me make the me. announcement? Did you hear me say I give? That's not the question. Well, I'm still. I'm asking you the question, though. Okay, do you not want to answer? I wouldn't let a dog go on a, some person. Understand? Without a understand? Everybody's been saying you're running around with guns and stuff. And guns. I'm, I'm just telling you what we hear on the street, okay? Obviously, they said you've been driving the stolen Lesabre here, which you have been, okay? So why would there, the information about the guns not be true? That's why we want to see the hands, okay? I show the hands. He Dogs, well, dogs. you got to show both hands. I, I showed you both yeah. this, this is the thing. Okay. What leg we got here? The dog, this is right. The dog's not going to come off if you have a hold of him. Okay? That's why I was telling you to let go. The dog's let not go of the dog. Yes, he would. Not, yes, he you would. You choked listen, your own dog and he wouldn't listen, listen to you. No, you choked did, your own dog. You said, let go, let go 10 times. Yeah, the dog, said, well, still listen. dog wasn't on a lead <clears throat> for one thing, okay? One, We're going to take you up to the hospital right. and get you treated, okay? All right. Ladies called us from the local trailer park. She wants us to check the residence while her husband's not home. Find out if he's manufacturing narcotics in the home. One, we're getting 499. Hello, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> Tell me what you got going on. Oh, there's a container in the house, uh -huh. in the room. When you go in, down the hall, on that side, there's a door that you go in. We use it as the office. Mm -hmm. There's a container in there, um, and there's chemicals inside of it. I came home to put this all together. I came home Wednesday night, and the house reeked of chemicals. Okay. It was all opened up and being aired out. I didn't put two and two together. Okay. Because I also got word from my dad that his wife died, and you know, sure. we just weren't sure. thinking. Sure, sure, just relax. We'll check it for you, and we should have you some answers in just a couple minutes, okay? I know you guys are probably busy. <laughs> office according to the lady and she's been getting a lot of chemical smells as of here we've got some drug paraphernalia appears to be a pipe for smoking either marijuana or possibly meth disregard he's 499 um, lady out front husband's been downloading information on meth she's been getting a lot of smell in the house of heavy chemicals and such uh, got a pipe, heat, blowtorch, and I believe this okay. box she advised me when you lift it up has got the stuff that's actually making her nervous. I haven't lifted it yet. Okay. Uh, Give me an idea on what we need to do. Well, I need, my time I need to pick up what's in there first. Okay. And, uh, and we can, uh, Yeah, he's got a acetone cooking pan, a hot plate. Yeah. Let's uh, grab the, that and let's get outside. Okay. okay. We're going to pick this up and get it out of the house. Uh, Officer Trussell. We're going to go ahead and ventilate the house now. Every 
when do you find them? It's not cooking, is it? No. You want to fill her in? Or? Yeah. She advised he has been on the internet downloading okay. math information, so. I think it's just going to be confined to that room. Okay. Let's just go ahead and wait outside. All right. I have two kids that have been around this and me. What are the bad effects of this with me and them? Uh, your lung capacity is probably going to drop. You know, you probably should get your kids checked out by a doctor, see if they're breathing okay, you too. Uh, just go have a complete physical done on them. Depending on what we find, I'll be some federal charges, so. Well, I'll be honest, he got picked up for pot. The possession of pot in that, and I told him, you mess with it, I'm not putting up with it. I will turn your butt in. I'm not gonna put up with it, any type of drugs in my house with my kids or anything. They're getting ready to move the lab out and just for public safety, we're going to rope everything off to keep everybody out. They're hoping to be no explosions or anything, but with these things, there's no telling. So they basically want as many people as far away from it as we can get them. They're in Tyvek suits, rubber booties. As soon as we can get in the open air, they can look at verifying better what it is, what he's been doing with it when it's been used. I got here the components of a meth lab, which they've already had made the meth, so they were just putting it in, putting it in here instead of putting it on the trash and neighbors can find it. They might use like this hot plate, they'll use it later on, and they got some other liquids they'll use later on. You got the coffee grinder, you grind it. Coffee filters, whenever they filter it out. So as soon as I can get some more information for you, I'll let you know what's going on. And as soon as I can find out how late they need you, I can at least give you a time frame on how long you're going to be here. But I don't really have it. This is home. <laughs> I know, I know, but right now it can't be. And you got the red phosphorus right there from the uh, coffee uh, filters. And you got all those man made tubes, you know. That's for the that's for the ending stage for the generator. So, say it's just a small lab. <laughs> we need to get him. We need to get him picked up. Okay. At this point, you are the victim on all this. What they're telling you is everything in the house is possibly contaminated. You need to get with the detectives and pick the pamphlets up on them. Okay. He's also going to be charged with putting you and the kids at risk. That's nearly an attempted murder charge. Okay. There's a reason we can put those charges on him, because the government realizes that cooking this stuff around you puts your life at risk. Okay, Taking everything in the house, moving it to a new house, you may be carrying those same fumes and those same contamination with you to a new place. We get a lot of crack addicts up here. Um, drug dealers will actually come to the area, deal openly to the crack addicts, and then uh, they'll leave the area. I'm going to turn off the light so we can kind of sneak on on him a little bit here. You know, something right here. He just handed him to him. Don't you know what I want? What you fellas up to? I'm doing good. How you doing? We got money. Let's check these two dudes. Hey, Pittsburgh Police! He's reaching, Bri. Don't do it. He's got a gun, Bri. Put your hands up, up right get now. Get down. Don't move. Get on the ground. He dropped the gun on the porch. Put your hands where I can see him. Don't, Don't move. Don't move. Put your hands where I can see him. I got rock right here, bro. You got rock? Yeah. Give me this I hand. I knew he right just here. dealt to him. Give me this hand right here. Put your hand there and shut up. He got a pipe right here, too. What are you thinking? Keep your hands where I can see him. You got here. Cuff him up. I got it. I got it. Here, hold this. Right. I got it. Put your hands behind your back right now. Go ahead. I'm going to recover the firearm. What can I do, sir? Don't move. Keep your head down on the ground. Just one piece, Tom? That's all he had in front of him, bro. I didn't all see right. anything. Here, you got him? You yeah. Get up there. It's right there on the other side. Yeah. I, I saw him and went to go reach it, but you were already on him. There it is right there. Yeah. 
Keep your hands there. Don't move. Where do you live? Settle down, man. I picked that up, man. I swear to God, man. What do you mean you just, what, you just walk around picking up guns? Man, I don't like that. You had a gun. <laughs> what, what do you think's going on? You, you just student, found a bro. gun and you just picked it up and you decided you were going to hold it while you were selling crack know. on the corner. Sir, I he wasn't selling me no crack. Oh. You're straight hustling you crack. What do you mean you were selling crack? crack. 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 You had that money and you dropped it that he just gave you. No, that money. I'm a girl, so I swear to God, check my pockets. Come here, stand up. Come on, roll up. Roll up. You're straight hustling crack. I swear to God. Listen. Look at me. I did not sell crack, sir. I swear to God. Come here, come here, come here. Real quick. No, no, no. Don't stand by this gun. I need this. No, no. I'm not running. I swear to God. Stand right there. Spread your legs. Turn on your side. Now, listen. What's your first name? Come in, sir. Green. <laughs> we walked up, you gave it. What was you, what was you I thought that was a dude, actually, to tell you the truth. But he got a mustache. <laughs> you gave it right to him. We saw you. No, I'm sorry. Relax. Well, it's funny that you had so this I'm in So I'm about to get in trouble. <laughs> With who? My mom, you Put guys. Put for your pipe. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Damn, spit it all out. Just spit it all out. Stop. Ah. Is he getting more out of his mouth? Uh, yeah, he got a ton of it in his mouth. No, sir. <laughs> Get down. You got I like a whole. Her. You got like a whole mouthful of crack. Look, 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 look. You tell me you ain't hustling. I do not hustle. I'm a college student. I'm broke. You know your rights, right? You have the right to remain silent. Anything I say, can and will be used against exactly. the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. I'm right. A deep. Well, that ain't part of the Miranda <laughs> rights, but. We roll up on you. We watch you do it. Oh, my God. I cannot believe this <laughs> man. Come on, go on. Right here. Where'd you get the gun? More importantly, man, I listen. Find I listen, everywhere. listen, listen, listen. People hustle. I understand that. Where'd you get a gun, man? You're standing out here on the corner with a gun. Huh? What's up with that? Come on, stand up, man. Turn around. What's going on? We roll up. They got a hand-to-hand... Uh, transaction going on. We pulled up to see what was going on. We were going to get out. Uh, as soon as we did, he turned around and reached in and pulled a gun. He had a little 380. Almost got shot. He reaches in his pants and pulls that out so and drops it right over. Honestly, I thought I'd be able to have it. What do you think happens when you have crack in a gun and, and you get caught selling on the corner? I wasn't selling anything. Wasn't selling anything. I swear to God, sir, I'm caught red-handed. Whatever, you know, All I right, was not. Nice. If you check her pocket and check my pocket, I have $3. But I mean, you go to jail when that happens. Well, why'd you drop that right. money when we got out of the car? I had you? money? You had the $3 in your hand that you yeah. dropped. Yeah. All right. I'm a loser for the rest of my life. You're at least a drug dealer. I'm not a drug dealer. You ever sir. been arrested before? Never, sir. I go to school, I go to college. I'm broke. I mean, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm broke. Where, I'm, I just want to go to school. school. Man, I'm in debt with credit. If you check my pocket, look at my, my wallet. I got credit cards and... Is that why you're out here slinging? Because you got credit card oh, debt? Are you trying to make a couple of... What? Honestly, I'm Listen, trying to make a couple extra bucks right. trying to go to school. Listen, that's what every, that's, that's I the can truth. deal with that. But don't lie to me. And this is not my career. I'm not... I don't have to be out here. I'm trying to... Come on, stand up. These guys are going to take you. My mom... Go ahead. Yeah, she ain't going to be happy. Let's see, watch your head. You have a crack pipe, mm -hmm. a rod to push it, mm -hmm. standing on a corner where anybody, let me finish, anybody could come and buy crack and you're standing next to a dude who got a mouthful of crack okay. and a gun. And there's a piece of crack laying on the ground right next to you. Well, I don't... And you're just, you're just friendly conversing, let's go get a smoke. You got pipe in hand with a rod ready to go. Man. I mean, you, were you gonna try to work out something for later? You, you were gonna go hustle a couple dollars or what? I wasn't doing anything. All right, Michelle, your ride's here. We're going to back up an officer on a DV. Gal calling in saying her ex-boyfriend's outside threatening to shoot her with a shotgun. A5, we have any more on this car? Picking them up, all that she's describing it as is a green passenger car. 8-5, what's this guy look like? I think she's still in her apartment. 
85, he's southbound from here. Get on the ground! 85, we're southbound through the yards. He's going eastbound towards Haven. That's in uh, Regal. And we got him in the alley here. I give up. All right, dude. Your hand out. I give up. Your hand out right now. 85. Let him go. Let go. Will you grab him? We're in the Just alley. Let him go. All right. Uh, south All right. Diamond at Haven. Go for it. I can't take it, dude. I can't take it no more. I'm done. All right. I think we're 28 something. Oh. Okay. 85. Right. You got any yeah. weapons? No, I don't. Get I don't up. know if oh, someone can check phone. that car that he was in. Relax. <laughs> on the car. I am. Let me relax. The one on uh, oh, God. at the Martindale. It's a blue I got car. I'm going to in my other pocket, dude. I don't care Pull about my phones. That's all I got. You hear about this? It's gonna bite me or stick me, you understand? Yeah, I hear you. I'm all, all right, right to dude. your right, let's go. All right. Uh, okay. 85, go ahead. And, uh, I can't. I'm and drinking all day, dude. It's hey, pretty good for two and a half rocks. I think it was like one. <laughs> five, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm 40 something years old. So am I, brother. Stand up. Still, man. Get up, you're all right, you're running pretty good for two and a half I blocks. Know, I couldn't make it. Feet don't right there. work no more? Huh? Your feet don't work no more? Oh, no. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, Tuck can I ask head. you a question? There we go. Man. Yeah, as soon as we get all done. Hey, what am I being arrested for? Right now? Yeah. Obstruction. How about obstructing? Obstructing for running? Right? Obstructing yeah. and running from the police. We're here to investigate a crime. Yeah. Oh. Well, you'll yeah. find out. There's a witness that overheard the guy making threats to kill. Our complainant victim here, apparently her uncle in this apartment. Hello. Hi there. Uh, I think she's out there. She is. Are you her uncle? Yes. Can I talk to you for a quick sec? Sure. I don't need to come in if you don't want. I just talk to you. All right. Did you hear any of the stuff that was going on tonight? Oh, hell yes. He was standing out in the middle of the street hollering obscenities. Matter of fact, I can get you. I've had this stalking problem before with my, one of my other nieces. Okay. Uh, this is the first time he showed up that I actually heard him holler something. It was a good old. Yeah. <laughs> Did he make any threats or anything that you heard? Well, I couldn't hear any direct threats, but I know okay. that I heard obscenities. Did you hear anything hear about a shotgun goodies. or something? Well, now I heard her say that at one time he had a shotgun, but okay. she didn't know if he had it now. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. So you didn't like, hear him make far, those threats? Yeah, as far as I am concerned, he was banned from my home. I didn't want him on my phone. Okay. Uh, I have done everything but assault him. Right. And I have to save my niece stopped me from doing that tonight. Right, okay. So, you know, I got to give her credit for that. <laughs> okay. So he's been outside for three hours or better just yelling and hooping and hollering, there, huh? yelling. Well, like I say, he's been out there. He's been hollering and he's been calling on the phone. Uh, he left some messages. I got off and erased them, so I can't help you with that. There okay. wasn't anything really threatening in there. Yeah, Except just... He threatened, just to, he, he threatened to leave her, which is what she wanted in yeah, the first Yeah, that's a big threat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, well, thank you, Larry. I appreciate your time. All right. All right, take care. Bye-bye. She says you have a shotgun at your house. I don't have one. <laughs> I would never have one. Did you one. make any threats to kill uh, Larry or her today? No, I didn't. You say nothing about killing no, him or having a shotgun? No, I didn't. Well, why would all these people over here tell me that if that's not true? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to talk to Lisa. They tell me, man, just talk to me face to face. And I wasn't being a about, you know, I wasn't sure. calling her bitch, all that kind of crap. Right. I just, you know, I was just talking like me and you are. And I said, man, come down. From all the way down here, all the way up there, you're talking like you and me? I was like. You had to have been talking louder than that. Huh? You had to have been talking no, louder. No, she had her head hanging out the window. Oh, okay. And I don't talk that loud anyway. Yeah. You know, I said to her, I'm down here and talk to me. Whatever right. the problem is, come talk to me. Okay. And that's just what happened. 
What does she say about a shotgun? The last time she saw it, he had it in his car. He okay. took it out of his car and left it at his sister's house where Moses was at, so. Okay. Um, that's about it for tonight. She's just scared. She does. Uh, she believes he'll come back. She believes he will. In his yeah. intoxicated state, will possibly carry yeah. out his threat. Sure. Sounds like uh, Moses did a sweep of the car when he first went by. I was over there. I didn't see the shotgun in the car at okay. all, so yeah. I don't know where that might Our be. story arm matches so. up, so. Yeah. Okay. So probably got enough to book him for the felony harassment, that's huh? That's what I'm thinking. What's your problem? We got a knife open on that boy. We told you to put it down here open. That closed. You opened it when we told you to put it down. Yeah, you did. I sat there and watched. Why are you acting so nervous? Where you live at, man? Where? Anything on your back? How old are you? Thirty-two. Come right here and talk to me. Right back here. First off, what's your name? Tiffany. Tiffany what? What are you doing out here? I was walking over to see my friend over there on 19th, and they went home, so I came around this way, and he said I was in the car with him. I don't even know that man. Right okay. Now. And right. I had my knife open because I always walk with my knife open because of this part of town. So why would you have a knife open when the police get here? Because and you I tell, to Listen, let me finish, and then you get told to drop it. I heard three times, and then an officer drew his gun, and you still didn't drop it. Then you have to be taken to the ground and still don't drop the knife. What's wrong with you? Nothing. He said close it first, then he said drop it. I put it against my skirt like that, was going to close it with you like I always do, and then that's when y'all do what you did. And you come up here for what? I come to see my friend. They weren't home. I walked to see my friend because I don't have a vehicle. I walked to see my friend. They weren't Where home. At? I was with my mother on 19th. What address on 19th? I don't know the address. I just stayed in that house. I come to see them. They weren't home. So I was walking back through that road, down this road, to go back there from Dodge so and Walk. So did you, you're walking all the way around. You can walk a straight line. Because and get home. I went, what? And you walked I up walked through up here. And we already found a crack pop on you. I walked up Dodge. You smoke crack cocaine? Did you mm -hmm. just started smoking crack cocaine? How'd you get started on that? A friend of mine. Well, I wouldn't call him a friend now, but somebody. Have you ever been arrested before? Yeah, a long time ago. For what? Theft under 500 in 94. Have you ever been arrested for prostitution? No, sir. Is that up next for you? No, sir. You've already started on crack cocaine, that seems like no, that. I hope not. Stand right back over here to the car for a few minutes. Can you talk to me for a minute, Yogi? Yes, sir. Okay. What's what's this girl's story? She's prostitute. She's new on the scene. She's new out here? Yes, sir. She's got a street name yet? They call her T. It's they call her T. Her so she's already and she's already turning tricks out here prostituting? Yes, sir. Yes, How long sir. has she been out here, do you know? I was here since I've been out of jail. How long is that? I'm not... About three weeks. She's been out here three weeks? Since I've known this. What's her deal? Why is she carrying that knife for? Was y'all getting into it when, when we rolled up? Was no. she saying anything to you? No, sir. No, I didn't even know she was walking by. I was sitting in the car. I was in the light of a cigarette. I'm never going to lie to you. I don't lie to you. OK. Is she up here looking for a crack? Is she up here looking for probably, a rock? Probably, sir. I haven't talked to her. Probably. It's probably your sir. OK. Sit tight here for me. Yes, sir. All right. Shoot it to me straight. You out here working, you a prostitute? No, I am not a prostitute. Okay. You sure? Positive. No. So I think you're lying to me. How come other people saying that you work in the streets? I don't work the streets. I walk because I don't have a vehicle. And yes, I have friends down here, and I walk to see my friends, but I don't work in the streets. Well, all right. For now, you're going to go sit down in the back of my car. Okay. Till we can figure this all out. Because mm -hmm. I don't think you're being honest with me. When I saw her getting out of the car. This is the knife that she had. It was closed up in her hand. It was partially open, but it was in her hand. It was down to her side. 
We told her to drop it and drop it, and she wouldn't, and then she opened it on her pant leg. And that's when she turned towards me with the knife open like that. And that's when we, we put her on the ground. Got her in custody, and then I found this in her pocket open like that. And I found the, found the crack pipe. She's working the street. She says that she's not. She's got extra changes of underwear and stuff in her pocketbook. She's not telling us the truth. She's saying the last time she got in trouble was uh, 11 years ago. Oh. And there's a citation that was just issued. Yeah, we can pose that question to her as well. Possession of drug paraphernalia. So. Imagine that. Yeah, this was issued yesterday. <laughs> so uh, she's not telling the truth. I think we'll see a pattern develop. Yogi, you catching a break tonight, all right? I want you back up here. Yes, sir. You cover back, catch you back up here again tonight, you're going to jail, all right, okay? Yes, sir. Take off. Yes, sir. Do you understand why you're going to jail? You're going to be charged with assault on police, resisting arrest, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Do you understand that? Why didn't you tell me about the citation that you got? I wasn't thinking about it. Honestly, I okay, that, that's considered trouble. When I ask if you've been in any trouble or been well, arrested. I didn't think about it. It just happened yesterday. It okay. Just happened yesterday. See, think. see how a lot of stuff's not adding up. See what I'm telling you? It happened. And you're not, and you're not telling me. It was over. It happened where I was staying. At, where I don't I was have nothing to do with it. Trouble's trouble. Okay. What we're going to is a uh, hit and run accident, and uh, get changed to a hit and run with injuries. Apparently, there's some people leaving the scene. We're not getting a whole lot of details, but. Some girls are following. Complainant last saw the suspects running westbound from 40th and North Star. 21, copy. Somebody find the scene first and see if we have any injuries there. It seems either 41st in Garfield or 41st in Hayes. It could be at 41st between Garfield and Hayes. 10 that unit, there's 10 on the scene designator. So they're running westbound. This is the last place they saw them, so. Break. I got uh, suspects supposedly running Cope Street southbound from 40th. He's got blue shirt on. That's two females. Stop right there! Stop right there! Come here! Stop right there! I lost the girl behind the house. Yeah, we're 17 with the male. Roll up on your side, all the way on your back. Sit up. Sit up. All right, lift one knee up towards your stomach. You ready? Stand up. All the way up. He's 21. No. He was the passenger. The woman was the driver. 21. Information we got from the witness. The male was the passenger. The female is who we need. We'll try and uh, see what we can get out of this guy. Anderson. Look straight to the west, the east. Stop right there. Take it. Go to four. Anderson, you on four? Do you want to cooperate? Okay. Okay. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> Negative. It's the first building we were at. The very first one. It's no. across the street from 4102. 4102. Okay. 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 Did you pat search her? Yeah. Are you injured? Uh, you want medics? Nothing's wrong with me. Okay. You don't want medics to come out here. You want to just keep her outside the car for now until they get here rather than putting her in and pulling her back out. Okay, we can do that. Hey, get off me. Stay facing the car. I will if you get off me. And stay get the off me. Stay no. facing the car and relax. I don't how this works. Okay, I'm good. No, too late. Move, bend your knee. Oh, my head. My head, you guys. Male bitch, I hope you burn hell. You know you do. Could be. That hurt really bad. 
that. Why didn't even drop, bitch? Ow! Stop Ow. resisting. I'm not. You are trying to kick me with. Ow. Then relax, and we'll relax. I didn't relax, white bitch. What's your name? You. Okay. Here, here's Same name she gave here's me. Here's your last chance. You can either act like a human being and we'll treat you like a human being, or you can act like an animal and you're going to get treated like an animal. And it's completely up to you, and this is your last chance to make that decision for yourself. Now, are you going to relax? Or are you going to continue to cause a problem? I ain't doing nothing. Okay. If you want to sit here I just want and to be go calm, home. well, you're not going home. I go home. Not right now, you're not. Here. What's Tula? Did you know? Oh, go home you want anyway. Put on that? No, we'll, we'll hop her up. I'm going to relax. You're going to relax? Yes. All right. I just want to go home right now. Can We're going to let your legs down, down, okay? Okay. Ready? We're letting your legs down. Just relax. Move this foot over this way. There you go. Do you oh, want to tell me your name? I just killed myself. The witness was down there. Let me go talk to him. While going by, they were kissing while they were doing it. And, and she was in the middle of the, of the thing, and the guy, or the guy, I believe, was in the middle also kissing. And I, of course, I, I had the, the impression that something's going to happen here. Something's going to happen. And I kept on looking in my rearview mirror to see what would happen. And exactly what happened. Boom, she hit the, the blazer that was parked the blazer there. And I, you know, we, we didn't know what to think of. That was just parked happened. on the side of the road. It was just parked on the side of the road. And then all of a sudden, and I got out of the car, I started calling on the phone, calling 911. I started walking, and all of a sudden I see them get out the car and, and start walking. Who got out of the driver's seat? She did. She was driving? She was driving. So you saw her when you passed by? Okay. And, uh, you say she, you're talking about the woman right there? Yes. You stand the ground on the ground. Okay. This is their vehicle that they were in, and uh, the witnesses identified them jumping out of this vehicle. And they had the parked car they slammed into was parked right back here trying to figure out at what speed they may have been traveling prior to the collision. And just looking at what we have for a collision and the damage done to the vehicle, it's uh, lucky that nobody was in this other vehicle. It could have been pretty serious. You can see this peeled back the hood. So they were traveling at a pretty good rate of speed, and they pushed this vehicle, which was parked, and uh, did some pretty good damage to it also. We got a, a female that units were looking for earlier, uh, that she's a possible uh, burglary suspect. And he told the front office that if she shows up again to give us a call, and apparently she just showed up, and she's over here in the area somewhere. So they gave us a call. We're going to see if we can find her and find out if she's wanted for a uh, burglary. So apparently she's hanging out up by the office. Same right there. That could be a lot over here. No, oh, that could be her standing right there in the, in the doorway. So we'll. Uh... If you don't have it, I believe it's 3350. Wow. We'll check. So what's going on? Why are the police looking for you? Do you have any idea? No. Well, what happened was that I'm not from here. OK. So I had to go to California. OK. To go take care of the child support thing over there. So I just left. Everything I need is there. OK. Then we'll, we'll work that out. Just stand right here in the front for me. Hang tight. Let me check something. I'm Sergeant Jenkins. Do you know what's going on with this lady out here? The night of the 23rd, room 157 was broken into. Is that, was that her room or next no, to her? No, she was in 259. OK. Um, the police that were here at the time, they entered her room okay. and found the stolen merchandise. It was ID, credit cards, watches. I think one of the watches and some other mm -hmm. personal items were found in her room. OK. And the credit cards had about $3,900 spent. How about the people that was in the other room in 157? Did they make yeah, a report? Yeah, they have a copy of the report. Um, they actually live in Australia. They're not here anymore then, huh? No, well, they left the next day. And they had no money left. And you guys don't have anything that says that a report um, was I taken, can do you? Go look around my boss's office. Can you look and see? Me? Sure. OK, thank you. Yeah. So she's shady. Something's going on with her. And uh, she's wanting to get her stuff back, which means there's something in there she want to get. She probably thinks that that stuff is still in there. You know what I mean? So, uh, well, you want to just pull it aside? Can we get consent? They, apparently, well, you know what? Well, we'll apparently, her stuff's been taken out of the room. Yeah, it's been packed up. It's been packed so up. I told them to do a very detailed inventory. Oh, so they should have an inventory so we'll list. see what they got. OK. And uh, uh, 
You want to see if you can get the inventory? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to her mentor. Yeah. I know, see what she's willing to say. All uh, right, yeah. She's pretty talkative right now, but I think when we st she realizes it's getting serious, she's going to shut down. But we'll see if we can get the inventory. How old's your boy? He's 11. Is she ever get in any kind of trouble? Him. Good kid? Yeah, he's a good boy. He's not burglarizing in motel rooms, is he? Uh, I'm just kidding. But he's not, right? Would you be surprised if I told you that when they packed out your room because you skipped, basically, and that's what they do, mm -hmm. that some items were found in your room that had been reported stolen from that Australian couple? Some items? Would that be surprising to you? In a way, yes. I mean, why... See where we're going with this? Right. I mean... You haven't really given me any kind of an explanation of how this could possibly have happened. Well, that's, that was the only time that she was there. I mean, in the room, and that was the only time that I practiced. I think that was like the last time I've seen her. But here's where we have an issue. The way it works in a hotel like this, I'm sure you have one of those little plastic keys. You know what I'm saying? You get in and out of your room, right? Right? OK. Well, the way it works at this hotel or any other is every time you swipe that key, it's run through the computer, and it says 9.59, key made it, entry made, right? And you go in. Well, the reason we know that you or somebody that you gave the key to that you got from the front desk was because when entry was made into their room, it locked it locked the time, okay? And they were at the pool, and I know they were at the pool because there's a credit card receipt that proves they paid out their bill at a time when their room was being opened and both of them were at the pool. Unless you have a really great explanation, you're the one that's going down for this. Okay, tell you what, why don't you go ahead and pat her and cuff her up while she thinks about her story. Stand in front of my car. I was getting ready to let her go when I realized oh, no. that well, they didn't take a report, so we don't have a victim. Oh, no, we do. Okay, good. Glad that Bree came over and you guys know what's going on. Because she's coming back to get her stuff. Oh, yeah. She wants yeah. to get it real bad. Her stuff is here. Oh, yeah. It's in this room right here. He's going to open it for us. Right. When she went to that lady's room, she probably had her she, son. She came to the front desk and said, I lost my key, and they didn't ID her or anything. Well, you know why? Because she looks the way she does. Right. So what she did was they picked it while they were out on the pool. I mean, I know I did wrong. I accept it. I know I did wrong. You're right, but sometimes you just what gotta can stand I do? up. I know I am, and I'm willing to do whatever. Yeah. Willing to do whatever to prove to you that that's. There, there were more things that were taken. <laughs> but not it, it, why me? Well, if only you and the woman went in the room. That was it. Then there's, there's still that doesn't explain to me how other things of hers ended up in your room. That I don't know. That, like I said, I put that on God can kill me right now. What happened, what happened to the blue purse and the card? Well, I got rid of that. Where? Yeah, it's like I just threw it out when we left. And then what I did, see, it's like I'm being honest with you. You know, I got the red bill and then I cashed it and they gave me like $13 for the 20 She finally gave us a story. Well, she's given us enough descriptive information, even though we don't have the property here. That there's no other way that she would have known it was in there had she not taken it. Right. I mean, it only took two and a half hours of convincing her. Yeah, she, yeah, she was sticking to her story. I think she was thinking that, uh, you know, she was going to walk away from here tonight. Because it's easy just to blow these things off because they're tourists that we're not going to even follow up with. We're trying to catch up to a car from West Virginia. Undercover officer just saw him buy drugs down on a dead end road. We're going to try to intercept them here. Everybody, hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! What I tell you, put your hands up! Front passenger, will he ditch some stuff on the floor? Back at 3182. Sit down with him. Sit down with him. Hands on the roof. Out. Put it in park. Keep your hands on that seat. Don't move them. One, hold that information. That is the building. We're headed for a car. Hands on the trunk. Do not move. Same thing. 182, I need a female here if you have one, please. Spread out. Spread out. Ow, ow. You want to just hold him for a second? Um, I think they right shot in, up already. It's right in there. Yeah, because right he... Dash, you can see it already. Yeah, he ditched some as we pulled up. Right yeah. Well, the other guy ditched some up front, too. Where is it? Tell, hey, tell him watch that hand right there. Right in the center car, so. Yeah. yeah, here it is. See it right there in the center? This is what he was ditching. Who was? Who you, you was. 
Right okay. down the center. And here's the back side. one. Right down here. Get already out in the bag over there. See it right there in the yep. middle. Clint's cuff him up. Got any more? Pierre's behind your back. Tell me the truth. No, it's just one. Can you tell me where it's at? Yeah. How many did you get? When? Just now? Yeah. Ten okay. of them. Do me a favor and lean up against the car here. What, they rest them in the car? Lean up. Just step forward and lean up against the car. You don't have to lean down like that. Just lean yourself against it, all right? Yeah, there's one right on the floor here, too. Hun, is this the one you were... No. Ma'am, is this the one? It was right on the floor in front of you. How often do you come to Pittsburgh to buy your hair? Every day. How many do you use a day? Anywhere from five to ten bags a day. And what are you paying for these? Ten bucks a pill. How you? I mean, ten bucks a bag. How are you affording that, then? In addition uh, how are to you doing life, that? I don't pay any bills. I live with my mom. I live with my grandparents. I have no I have no bills. I have a cell phone bill that I haven't even paid. They're getting ready to shut it off. They feed me. They clothe me. This is what I spend my money on. So you spend over $400 a I week work, on heroin? I work to get high, yes. You ever think about doing something else? Yeah, I like getting out. Yeah, I, I've been to rehabs. What do you have a degree in? Tell you. What do you have Business a Business administration, marketing. I went to West Liberty State College. I've been, in a, I've been out of, I graduated high school in 97, and I have a four-year college degree. You've been arrested before? Yes. How many times? Up here, I think at least three. We know this time you got seven bags of heroin. Your fourth time being arrested in front of the same judge. I've had four or seven bags, bags of heroin. Four of those bags are mine. But no, seven bought? of those bags are yours. You, no, sir, you, you bought them. I you only forgot. have forty dollars. Okay, check this out. You bought thirteen bags, right? But most of the money was. That you made to purchase. Yes, sir. Okay. But listen, yes, what are you sir. saying? I'm not denying that. You had one stamp bag on on the floor in front of your driver's seat, just laying there. Okay. One there. You had one in your pocket. That's two. Okay. The rest of them were down the front of your pants. So I these have... all came off of you. These didn't come off of anybody else. Whether you were going to give them to them is another story. But these are all yours. These are all found on you or where you were sitting. So you're being charged with these seven bags of heroin right here. All right, we're going to take you down to jail now. So try to make the good decisions this time. All right. Come on. Come on. I'm on the Suboxone medication. You didn't find nothing on me. I don't know. You had a loaded needle right up in front of you and a stamp bag of heroin on the floor in front of you. That wasn't my so, stamp bag of heroin in front of you. There was no stamp. So you want me to believe that you guys all came here, you came with him knowing to buy heroin. He was mixing four bags of heroin in the back. Yeah. So everybody was going to shoot up at you. There's three needles ready to go. So you weren't going to shoot up. But I, I didn't have nothing in my possession at the time when you pulled me over, when you pulled us over. Nothing okay, was we're not going to argue your court case out here. But you I, had. I know, I know, I know. But you see what I'm saying? No, it's yeah, not like you came up here to not shoot dope. You came up here to shoot dope. I know. I, I so know. the Suboxone isn't really helping you all that much. Can I? Is there any way that I can, like, smoke a cigarette or something real yeah, quick? Yeah, you've been straight with us, so we'll take you over the back of the wagon. We'll let you have a square before okay. we take you down, I roll, all right? I, I roll my own, man. I know you guys probably... You have one already rolled, because I'm not going to roll one for you. I, I can roll it right behind my back like this. All right, step over here. We'll take I, care of you. I'd appreciate You've it, been man. cooperative with us. Yeah, we'll, anything, we'll take care of you, all right? Anything else you need to know, sir? I mean, I, I told you, like... Okay. I mean, I'll give you... Is this yours? Is that your handwriting? Those are directions to a methadone clinic. That's my writing. That's your writing? Yes, sir. So obviously, at some point, you were going to go to a clinic. It says right here, clinic is on the right, next to the dry cleaners. Yes, sir. Why didn't you follow these directions? I, I don't know why I didn't go to the clinic, sir. Why did you come here? I mean, you, had a, you took the time to write them down. So you obviously, at some point in your life, you've made a little mental decision that I'm going to get some help. I'm going to do something different. You wrote these directions down. Then you folded them up, you threw them in the back seat of the car, and you drove here to buy heroin.